I just tested a Keos super budget projector. But is it any good? Let's find out. Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and we're going to be taking a look at this super budget projector by Akio. Now, this projector comes in at under £40 in the UK and that's with a voucher and under $50 for those that are in the US. And in my opinion, this is fantastic value when you see just what this little machine is capable of. Now this projector isn't going to compete with the other projectors I've had on the channel but I must say I was pleasantly surprised by its performance. This Akio projector has a native resolution of 720p and it has an ANSI lumen rating of just 100. But bear with me before you go clicking off the channel. Although this projector is roughly 5 to 8 times lower in brightness than the rest I've had on the channel, remember this is 5 to 8 times less expensive than the rest. So 100 antilumens is about right in terms of cost per antilumens compared with the other machines that I've had on the channel. So taking a look at the projector itself, the lens cap pops off nice and easy. Small little opening there. And it pops back on again. Very easy to take on and off. This is your heat sink, this is where it lets all the heat out. This is your IR receiver. Your power input. Your headphone jack. HDMI port, your AV input, and your USB port. On the side here we have your keystone wheel and your focus wheel. And these little holes here, this is where it lets all the sound out. On the top of the machine we have your power button, your up and down arrows, your OK button and your directional arrows. Got some nice Akio branding here. And we also have a warning label in the right hand corner saying don't look into the lens. On the bottom here we have your four rubber feet. Nice depth to them. And this is your adjustable foot to raise and lower the projector. And 
and then we have these ventilation grills in the bottom of the projector. I'm assuming this is where it draws all the air in to cool the projector. And this is the heat sink again where it lets all the air out. By the looks of it there is no filtering system on this projector. So dust could be an issue with this projector but you would expect that because this projector is only cheap and it doesn't claim to be optically sealed. And although this is a low budget projector, I must say that it feels very solid in the hands. Now let's try the stand that it come with. Now, although it was nice that they included the stand, I think it'd probably be better if you use your own. But it will definitely do the job for the time being. If you don't want to purchase another stand, then you can just take off the ball head and buy one of these instead. Or if you've got one lying around, you can just unscrew this one and put on your own. And I think the projector would be far more sturdier. So this is the remote, this is your power button, this is your mute button, this is your rewind and your fast forward buttons, your play pause button, your directional keys, your ok button, back, menu, source and your volume keys. And the remote takes two AAA batteries. Now let's get this projector all set up and test the noise of the fan. So as you can see, I have my Google Chromecast plugged into the back of the projector. As you can see, the sky blue colour.
And just to let you know guys that we are projecting in the daytime. I've got my blackout curtains and my blackout blinds. But as you can see, it is daylight outside. And I have a light above me, which is a 5 watt LED bulb. And as you can see, you can still see the screen perfectly. Now I'm going to turn this projector off now so you can see how long it takes to boot up. which was only 14 seconds, which is excellent speed for a projector. Now here comes the light test. So on the home screen we have a very clean user interface. We have screen mirroring, HDMI, AV, USB and settings. So I'll show you screen mirroring, so I have an Android, so we'll go over to Android and then I'll show you what it's like when it's screen mirroring. So now we're connected, let's see how responsive it is. Scrolling, 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 scrolling. Yeah, it seems to be quite responsive. There's not any massive delay in the signal, which is good. Right, let's load up YouTube and see what streaming's like. Right, let's go to my channel so I don't get any copyright claims. So this is the sound quality of the speakers inside the projector. Then we have your manual keystone. Keystone correction is a projector feature that allows you to point the lens towards the wall at an angle 
You then can adjust the image so that it's displayed in a 16 by 9 ratio. The four point keystone correction feature helps you overcome angles from room limitations. Keystone correction is a great tool for correcting large picture imbalances so if your walls are not perfectly straight, you can straighten the image using this keystone setting. The picture ratio is best when the green circle is perfectly round. I'm also skipping it here to see if the sound goes out of sync. We have the language settings that support some standard, vivid, soft and PC mode. This is with the old Seems to be doing a decent job. Can't see it going out of sync. But I do have 500 megabyte broadband, so maybe that helps things. But yeah, seems to be doing a decent job. Right, so let's back out of this screen mirroring now. Let's load up YouTube and stream some video so you can see what the quality is like on this projector. Now I don't know what you guys think, but I'd say in a super dark room, the image projection is very good. Now obviously you're not going to get as much contrast and colour pop to the image as other expensive projectors. But for £40, I'd say this was more than watchable, if not an enjoyable experience, especially on a budget. Now I just want to point out to people that watch my reviews. I don't do any video enhancing to my YouTube reviews when editing these videos. So I don't alter the brightness, change the sharpness, alter the colours or saturation, change the contrast, nothing. What you see is what you get. So the picture I'm seeing, you're seeing. I want to try and display a true representation of the product that you will be purchasing and watching. A lot of reviews seem to edit their videos and make them look polished or more professional let's say. But then you are changing the image to look better than it is. Rest assured, I won't be doing this on this channel.
We have got some picture modes that we can change it to as well to try and make the picture look even better. So we have standard, dynamic, mild and user. We can also change the colour temperatures, so if we go into there we've got medium, cool, warm and user. And then the user profile we can go down and we can change it to exactly how we like. Tune the image just the way you like it, which is good. Then we have a 25% zoom reduction. I wish it went to 50% but it doesn't, it only goes to 25. But maybe that's something Akio could do in a future update which would be great. Now for a budget projector, the screen uniformity is absolutely outstanding, considering that this is only £40, it's incredible. There are no dark corners or vignette, it's edge to edge brightness throughout the whole frame which is really good to see on a budget projector. Now obviously you're going to need a super dark environment to get the most out of this projector as it is only 100 lumens so the picture will be considerably washed out in bright environments but then again so are most projectors in bright environments. So if we go into the user category I'm going to turn the brightness right up So this is at its brightest.
The user interface is really easy to operate. It's pretty basic, but it's all you need really. So we've got movie, music, photo and text. These are your options there. Got your Bluetooth at the top. It's not bad range either. It, that, it's got quite good Bluetooth on it. I seem to walk all the way around my flat with my headphones on and it still keeps the signal which is pretty good. We also have different music presets here, so we've got standard. Movie, music, sports and user. So if we can come into these settings and tr change the treble and the bass. So it sort of changes the speaker's sound inside the projector. Then we can do an over the air update, check your version and other settings here. So what's this super budget projector like at gaming? Well I've connected my Xbox Series X so let's find out. Let's load up a bit of Dirt 5 and see what driving games are like. Now all the sound that you hear from now on will be coming out the projector speakers. Just so you get a rough idea of the sound quality that comes out of the projector. Now my mobile phone is in front of me on a stand recording the screen and the projector is behind me obviously shining onto my projector screen so this technically the sound is coming behind me just so you get a rough idea of the setup that i've got going on in my living room So here we go, let's see what a budget projector is like for gaming, I'm quite looking forward to this, let's see what it can do. Well I'll tell you what, it's very responsive that's for sure. It's turning when I'm turning. I don't know, it's only lag. I mean, my driving's shocking, but I keep looking over to the camera to make sure my phone's still recording. Now, I'm not sure what the refresh rate is on this. I'm assuming it's probably 30 hertz, but I've got my Xbox set to 60 hertz, 1080p, and it seems to be handling motion pretty well. Now obviously the motion's not going to be as good as some 60Hz machines, but this is understandable, this is only a £40 projector. But as for input lag, this projector beats most of the 60Hz machines that I've tried, which is unbelievable. Obviously we're only getting 720p resolution here. This has actually shocked me. I was not expecting this, not for £40 anyway. It's just so responsive, when I go to turn it just turns on the button which is very surprising. 
On some of the projectors that I've tested for gaming, it seems like when I go to turn, the car turns a second later, and this isn't doing that. This is really responsive. This is actually turning when I'm turning, which is brilliant. The input lag seems pretty low on this projector, and I'm assuming it's because it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that other projectors have, so it doesn't need as much processing. So where it hasn't got automatic keystone or automatic focus and stuff like that built into the projector, I'm assuming that basic projectors seem a lot better on input lag, that's what it seems anyway. So I may have to find a super budget friendly 1080p projector and put that to the test to see if that theory is correct. But yeah, I'm more than happy with the way this projector's handling the driving game. It's somewhat enjoyable. And I think this projector would be fantastic to put in the kids room. Because I think they would love gaming on this. It's just a cheap present for your kids and it don't break the bank. And I think they would get hours of entertainment and enjoyment out of this little machine. In fact, I am going to give this to my son for Christmas because he's going to love his own projector. Now obviously I'm getting the absolute best out of this projector because I've got a proper screen for it. I've got a game factor of 1.1 which I definitely recommend. I don't recommend shining this projector onto a wall or a bed sheet. Although it will probably work, you will lose a lot of light. And with it only being 100 ounce lumens, it's sort of going to waste. So my screen was only £56. Um, it was a Luxburg, just a hang up one. Um, but it's got a black backing so light can't penetrate through it so whatever light hits the screen it bounces back at you which I highly recommend you don't really want to be losing any light so yeah I'll put that in the description if you want to pick up one so now let's do the ultimate test let's see what it's like for some FPS games let's load up Call of Duty and see what that's like If I can find it, I've got so many games I can't even, ah oh, there it is. I think I've literally only played this for about two days, I bought it and then never played it again so yeah, this gameplay is probably going to be shocking because I'm no good at Call of Duty, I'm rusty and I haven't played it for a while. But yeah, let's just see what it's like.
I picked one of the worst maps on purpose. There's going to be lots of action here. Um, but just so we're not waiting around to see what it's like. And I've, I've just, I don't even know what class I've got. I just picked any class. Oh, yeah, see, I ain't played no long. What am I doing putting a claim on it? <laughs> I'm going to blow myself up now, putting the uh, claim on there. Oh, I got one. I actually got one. And another one. Nice. Oh, he's Well, I'm shooting people, that's for sure. Doing a little bit of camping here. Oh, there you are. Got another one. Oh, you AV. This seems all right. I'm going to die in a minute, and I? You watch. Can, can I get another one? Uh, yeah, knew it. <laughs> let's see what, let's watch, see what like for impact lag. Here we go. That seems good to me. I don't know what you guys think. Does that seem fast? That seems pretty spot on to me. Very good. That's very responsive. Oh, yep, yeah, got another one. <laughs> this is all right, you know. Ah! Uh. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> you know, it's alive for about a second. Oh, yep, got another one. Yeah, I'm spotting people. I'm killing people, so it can't be bad. Oh. This gameplay's going quite well. <laughs> Considering I ain't got another one. Ah. Oh. This is what happens when you run around on this map. You literally die in a second. Oh, like that. I'm probably going to get about a million deaths here. Just so you know. But I mean, it's, it's handled in motion, fine. All the smoke and the um, and the fire and that seems fine to me. Yeah, look, and I, I can spot them fine. I'm spotting them fine. Oh. Yeah, so this is what happens when you run around on this map. But I'm just I'm just I'm just paying more attention to see what it's like, the motions like and the smoke and stuff. But yeah, I mean look, I spotted him fine. So it's handled in motion pretty well. It's definitely it's definitely playable. It's definitely okay for playing FPS games. Definitely. Oh, what was that? See, I told you I was rusty. Recall goes right up in the air. But 
But yeah, look at yeah, look at the fire in there. It looks fine to me in the smoke. No, I can't stay alive for more than a second now. I think I just team killed there. But I'm not hearing them either because obviously I've got the sound coming out of the projector. So if I had headphones on, I rely on that sort of thing. I can't hear them coming. And this map's just chaos. I mean, what do you guys think? Is it is it all right? Would you be happy to game on this? It seems pretty sweet to me. I think I'm definitely going to have to get a 1080p one on the channel and test that, a basic one. And if it's as good as this, I'm probably going to actually game on it all the time. So I'm quite impressed with the input on, input lag on this. I did say I was bad at this game, didn't I? No judging. Got one, yay! Oh, oh, I spotted him. Didn't spot him, though. Ah, oh, two, I've got double team then. Let's do a bit of camping. <laughs> oh, camping so hard, he saw my tent pegs. <laughs> My days, this 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 map's chaos. What am I doing putting a claim on it? <laughs> oh, oh, just missed it. Wrong gun, mate. <laughs> Oh, get him. There we go. Yay, double kill. Like it when that happens. <laughs> I'm quite happy with this, you know. I'm really impressed with it. I think me, I think my boy's gonna love this in his room. No, oh, here we go. Get him, get him! Yay! This is quite enjoyable. Oh, I'll see ya. Yay, I think I got some of a claymore at the end. Nice. So let's wrap this video up then. So what do I think of this projector? Well, considering its budget nature, the build quality of the Accio projector is quite commendable. The device feels sturdy and well made. My only negative would be the focus wheel. 
That is a little wobbly or loose. I think they could improve the stiffness of the focus wheel, maybe add some rubber o-rings either side of the wheel to stop it wobbling. The projector's compact and lightweight so it's highly portable. Its construction is robust enough to withstand everyday use, making it a reliable choice for kids' bedrooms, living rooms to outdoor movie nights in very dark environments. The gaming experience was surprisingly enjoyable with a low input lag. It handled gaming content admirably. Whether you're playing fast paced action games or exploring visually stunning RPGs, this projector keeps up providing a smooth and responsive gaming session. So this projector is perfect for gamers on a super tight budget. While it may not have all the bells and whistles of higher end projectors as you would expect for a £40 projector, it certainly delivers a solid viewing experience without breaking the bank. Whether you're a movie enthusiast or a gamer like me, this projector offers exceptional value for its price. And I do highly recommend it to anyone looking for an affordable yet reliable projection solution. So, thanks for joining me in this in-depth Accio projector review. If you found this video helpful in your quest for a super budget projector, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That hopefully pushes this video out to more people in the YouTube algorithm and it helps others on the lookout for a cheap budget projector. If you have any questions about the Akio projector that I didn't cover or any other comments about the other projectors I've reviewed on the channel, feel free to leave your comment down below. I reply to all my messages because your feedback is invaluable to me. For more in-depth projector reviews, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hopefully I'll see you all again in another video soon.